a date totally rolled back consumption stocks asian paints britannia hul itc tata consumer in fact bajaj auto bajaj finance bajaj finserv all of them are also consumption stocks only the sector has been on fire and we'll talk about that in the nugget section my favorite picks from the consumption pack hi everyone welcome to the update of 11 september the greens today are lot lesser than the reds but the story changed completely after 12 o'clock today bank nifty expiry was not kind on nifty at all today bajaj auto is the top stock today 4% up tata motors is the bottom stock today 6% down two big stocks from the same sector on the opposite ends and on a day when crude went below 70 ongc was the second worst loser this graph changed several times in that day in fact i shared this graph on twitter about midday it was lot different from how it looked at the end of the day all the big sectors towards the closing were in deep red the sector which did well today heavy machinery siemens abb minor uptick followed by hevel cg power polycap also the beverage pack was on fire today this has some of my stocks varun beverages was up 3.2% associated alcohol was up 6% no surprises the worst sector today was oil and gas and we'll talk more about it look at nifty till about 12:35 continuously and then fell in a heap some short covering was visible after 3 o'clock same with bank nifty that was up actually till 11 o'clock only the trading range was good for nifty 1% the highest point of the day was around 25100 the part which was not good however was that nifty closed below 25000 the comical part is most of the day nifty traded above the line which is previous day's close and today's close bank nifty was no different the trading range was nearly 1% most of the day was spent above the line on a day when nifty was down half percent bank nifty half percent nifty it down as well fis and dis both bought nearly 2000 crores note there is a new look today in the dashboards this trend is now for two weeks earlier it was for five days nifty energy was down most because of the cracks in the oil and gas sector next 50 also was down half percent auto continues to bleed now there are two big news bajaj housing finance ipo 64x this is the craze for good quality paper the side effect of this is that the other ipos which are running in parallel they might suffer there are two more good news for the metal sector specifically tata steel india will impose 30% tariff on steel dump from china and vietnam this is a good news because china is sulking right now domestic recessionary conditions and they are dumping cheap steel into many many countries including india which is making the local industry suffer also tata steel has reached finally a deal with the uk government this is to modernize their steel plant this problem has been going on for at least 2 3 years now tata steel had threatened to close down the complete unit if uk government would not fund this initiative there are certain visual changes in this dashboard hul and itc are highlighted because both of them hit lifetime highs the slight yellow color here means that these stocks are very close to 52 week highs 95% back look at reliance last 5 days it has been in red tcs out of 7 days one day only has been green now i'll just refresh the us stock market data apple has opened in the green nvidia also is in the green overall the trend for nvidia seems to be improving slightly three green days now our berkshire has been down for six straight days it is below 1 trillion dollar brent has moved above 70 right now bitcoin down 1.5% rupee is 6 paisa away at the closing 38 stocks down 12 up not great market bread our look at the left side the green color here means that the stock is in the 95 to 100% zone top stocks today bajaj auto asian paints bajaj finance sun pharma bajaj finser so bajaj pack was actually on fire what was down tcs sbi ongc reliance tata motors the stocks in most fear coal india and ongc followed by indusind and sbi next 50 31 stocks down 19 up the leader of the pack today was varun beverages followed by berger infoage hevels zomato what was down today indian oil vedanta mother sansumi rec irfc tata power here also the stocks on the left side mostly in green today's breaking point was around 1235 for most nifty stocks Reliance cracked after this. TCS cracked. Atel joined the fall a slightly later. HUL was already falling down after hitting its lifetime high. ITC went down. SBI went down. See Infosys, L&T. 
सो फैंटास्टिक सिंक्रनाइजेशन इन टॉप टेन स्टॉक्स इन निफ्टी टिपिकल इंडिकेटिव ऑफ एफ आई आई एक्शन ऑन द बैंकिंग साइड बजाज फाइनेंस वॉज अप पी एफ सी वॉज डाउन आई आर एफ सी वॉज डाउन ईच एंड एवरी लार्ज बैंक करेक्टेड सोलर इंडस्ट्रीज अगेन अगेंस्ट द ट्रेंड एच एल वॉज डाउन मजगांव डॉक वॉज डाउन भारत डायनेमिक्स कोचीन शिपयार्ड जी आर एस सी डेटा पैटर्न जेन टेक्नोलॉजीज ओनली बी एल वॉज अप अट कोचीन शिपयार्ड इज क्लियरली ओवर सोल्ड नाउ लेट चेक मजगांव डॉक ऑल्सो मजगांव डॉक इज डूइंग ओके लाइक अ सेड यस्टर डे वेदांता कंटिन्यू टू क्रैक टूडे दैट इज अ साइड इफेक्ट ऑफ अ लार्ज डिविडेंट डाउन अनदर थ्री परसेंट बट मोस्ट मेटल्स वर डाउन ओनली टाटा स्टील माइट गो अप सिग्निफिकेंटली टूमोरो इन द आई टी पैक विप्रो वॉज डाउन टू परसेंट टूडे बट नथिंग स्पेशल इन एनी अदर स्टॉक एनर्जी पैक वॉज अ सी ऑफ रेड टूडे ईच एंड एवरी स्टॉक डाउन द कट्स ऑल्सो वर रियली डीप लुक एट द फॉल इन ऑयल इंडिया इन जस्ट लास्ट फाइव डेज टूडे द रिफाइनर वर टेकन टू द क्लीनर्स ओ एन जी सी ऑयल इंडिया एम आर पी एल चेन्नई पेट्रो बट इवन ऑयल मार्केटिंग कंपनीज वर नॉट स्पेयर I believe this is an opportunity. I might buy a little more into IOC and BPCL, which are already holding. My problem is that MRPL is holding a lot of money for me since last two months or so. I'll talk more about the consumption pack in the nugget section. Nothing special in terms of chart performance today. That's because of the fall towards the end of the day. Aerospace and defense, besides BEL and solar, everything red. Auto Tata Motors down six percent. Bajaj Auto up four percent. Banks, Bajaj Finance and Bajaj Finser were up. Asian Paints Pedalite had some gains in both stocks. Berger Paints also was up 2.7 percent. Deep cuts in metals and mining. Real estate corrected. Suzlon another 5 percent. Note that PE of Suzlon is now 127. Titan and Page Industries continue in the green zone. Today Page Industries was up a lot, 3.6 percent. In fact, it was up more than 5 percent in the middle of the day. Apparently, they are starting a new marketing campaign targeting the Gen Z. This is also a day when Reliance is collaborating with an Italian firm to eat into the share of Page Industries. This is the innerwear section. Kalyan Jewelers was up 2.6 percent today. Overall market bet, however, was poor. Ten sectors only were up. All the green sectors were in the bottom. My investments today, I sold JM Financial, which I bought two days back, 4 percent profit. I bought a little more of Varun Beverages. Note that Varun Beverages will split tomorrow. so you might see the price down a lot two stocks will split into five stocks for varun beverages tomorrow your dmat will reflect the same two stocks which you held earlier the three stocks will end up later only so tomorrow there will be an artificial shortage i bought a bit more of cdsl i bought quantity lesser than what i wanted because i knew that it will typically fall after i buy time for the nugget section today we'll talk about the consumption stocks This is an old book which released in 2012 that changed my perspective about consumption completely. The idea of the book was that India and China at that stage it was said that they will consume 10 trillion dollars more in the decade to come. So what will that additional 10 trillion dollar be spent on across India and China? Beautiful data, beautiful illustrations. What happens when the middle class expands or when the poor actually make more money than they were in the previous years? What do they buy? Idea is to create a theory and buy stocks which will go up because the consumption upsurge in the next five years. And I'll today highlight the top stocks that I invest in or I want to invest in. Note that these are not the complete universe. This is a view I was missing last few days because I spend a lot of money in this sector. So I created a dashboard of my favorite consumption stocks. The biggest one, of course, is HUL, the largest consumption company in India. ITC is of nearly the same size. I have good size investments in HUL, but I don't invest in ITC. Primary reason is ITC's core business, which is a cigarette business, is doing pretty well. However, they have a non-core business which I don't like at all. There are two or three segments in that: paper and stationery, hotels, and biscuits, snacks, atta, etc. The typical staples. But ITC is not a market leader in that. Asian Paints is the largest paint company, of course. there are talks that it will be displaced or some people will take its market share but it is expanding into other segments where it was not present earlier in any case the segment is growing only with rapid rise in urbanization titan is the largest jewelry company it is not a watch company this will continue to grow it has pan india presence in the jewelry segment varun beverages is the proxy of pepsi in india in fact i am working on a concept where i want to cover coke also in some ways which is not directly listed 
फॉरन बुफे हैज मेड मोस्ट मनी इन हिज लाइफ इन कोक द डिविडेंट यील्ड ऑफ कोक फॉर वॉरन बुफे इज एस्टाउंडिंग आई डोंट नो वेदर वॉरन बिफरेज विल गिव सिमिलर रिटर्न टू मी बट आई रियली लाइक द स्टॉक द नेक्स्ट वन इज ब्रिटेनिया इट इज द लार्जेस्ट स्नैक कंपनी इन इंडिया मोस्ट ऑफ द बिजनेस इज एक्चुअली आउटसोर्सड विच मीन्स ब्रिटेनिया मैनेज द ब्रांड द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इज डन बाय कॉन्ट्रैक्टर्स टूडे एच यू एल आई टी सी ब्रिटेनिया थ्री ऑफ दैम हिट लाइफ टाइम हाइज टाटा कंज्यूमर एज मोस्ट ऑफ द टाटा कंजम्पन ब्रांड्स अंडर इट टाटा टी इज द सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट टी कंपनी इन द वर्ल्ड बिसाइड दैट टाटा सॉल्ट द टाटा समर्पण ब्रांड which covers lot of staples and lot lot more the himalayan water brand also comes under the same umbrella the next one is pedilite it was earlier fevicol only but now it is getting into lot more especially in the home segment for walls waterproofing etc merico is one of the fastest growing and the largest companies in the hair care segment colgate of course is the largest segment in oral health care gillette in shaving page industries in innerwear they are now into a lot more than innerwear also I don't have presence in Pedialyte right now, Merico, Colgate, Gillette. These I need to acquire more. I don't intend to buy ITC. Rest all brands are there in my portfolio in reasonable quantity. I typically invest in one, two, five, and ten lakh kind of quantum. My goal is to have all these stocks in these two categories over time. Before I jump to the spot, I'll leave the link for this book in the comment section in case you want to buy it. It's slightly old but still relevant. coming to the swot the biggest strength for the consumption pack is that india's gdp is growing and the per capita income in india is growing rapidly which means there will be a lot of money and purchasing power in the hands of people the weakness of course is high inflation local and global because of this the margins come under severe pressure many many times not all companies in the segment can pass the cost to the consumer for example asian paints and burger have been sulking for nearly one year because of high input prices the biggest opportunities are rural india below poverty line 100 crore people the official numbers may be different all these people don't consume too much right now if money is given in their hands then there will be first time consumers a lot more to buy for them than the people in the cities the threats of course are global recession and job cuts which will impact the safety net the emotional security and the money in the hand of people because of which consumption may suffer temporarily this offer does not apply to the alcohol segment which i have not covered in consumption hope this segment was useful if you have any questions if you want any follow up videos let me know i have some topics to cover from the previous sections also based upon the comments thanks for watching i'll see you tomorrow